Hello friends, as we all know, the ultimate objective of root canal therapy is to shape, clean and obturate to seal all the portals of exit and prevent any sort of communication through the apex and the coronal aspect. So, it must be completely and durably filled and no empty spaces should be left behind. Majority of the endodontic failures are related to incomplete obturation and missed canals. The reason for this failure can be explained from hollow tube theory. Rickert and Dixon in the year 1931 formulated hollow tube theory according to which an empty space within a living organism tends to be filled with tissue fluids in a short period of time. This theory was based on the observation on an experimental animals. Later, Coolidge concluded that just as within unfilled and underfilled root canals, fluid accumulate within these empty spaces and get rapidly colonized by bacteria. Microorganisms or bacteria reach these spaces by means of phenomenon of anaphoresis, that is, bacteria transported by blood circulation. For years, this theory influenced the concept that root canals must be completely filled and till the apex and non-filled portion of the root canals must not serve as a reservoir for accumulation of tissue fluids and get colonized by bacteria. More research and studies invalidated the hollow tube theory and concluded that cleaned and shaped root canals must be completely filled not to prevent bacterial colonization and the accumulation of tissue fluids but rather to prevent the survival and multiplication of bacteria remaining even after the thorough sterilization procedures of the root canal therapy. So the knowledge for this presentation is gained from these articles. Thanks for your valuable time. If you found the video informative, please like, share and subscribe.